today I'm going to share with you how to make this absolutely delicious lingonberry or partridge berry sauce that will taste good on poultry or savory dishes including meatballs. You can also use it on cheesecake or just use it like partridge berry jam and have it on a slice of toast. We call them partridge berries here in Newfoundland but they're mostly referred to as lingonberries in Europe and if you don't have them available in your area you can make this recipe with cranberries. So all you will need for this delicious wild lingonberry sauce recipe is one and a half cups of wild lingonberries or partridge berries as we call them here in Newfoundland and one quarter of a cup of organic cane sugar. So very similar to making jam you want to put your pot on a medium heat then place all your berries in the pot you don't need any water because as the berries start to heat up they will release their own juice remove any little pieces of grass sometimes sticks on even after cleaning so you just want to wait for these to start to melt down before adding in the sugar after about four minutes you'll see the juices starting to come out of the berries Now I like the berries just softened so that when you eat them they still burst in your mouth. I don't like them overcooked or too jammy. So now we're going to add in the quarter cup of sugar. And stir. So I don't want to mash these berries, I want to be kind of gentle with them. And then I'm just going to let it simmer for about 5 to 7 minutes. So it's been simmering on a low heat for about 7 minutes. And it's thickened up quite well. As you can see. Now it's time to just bottle it up. So here it is. It was pretty simple. Just two ingredients, your partridge berries or lingam berries and some sugar and you can make a delicious sauce. And this sauce is good on poultry, on chicken or turkey. It's also good on cheesecake or it can even be just used on a slice of bread as we do here in Newfoundland, just like jam. So essentially it's the same thing as a partridge berry jam or many places in Europe use it as a side to savory dishes such as meatballs and chicken and turkey and if you don't have lingonberries available then you can do the same thing with cranberries.